Okay. Oh, hey everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Alien tonight, along with... Fearsome Mike, Lieutenant Drakir, at your service. And welcome back to Return of the Obra Dinn. Where last time, well, we made a lot of progress from just three fates solved. <laughs> now it's 21. But we still have 39 to go. Yeah, dude, it, it was a slow start last time. Yeah. But we... once we got going, bloody heck, it got going. Yeah. And yeah, with some with some people, it is a bit annoying that the the game's logic sometimes is a bit flawed as to how you should you're supposed to be they did supposed to be identify some people. And yeah, let's see. We were trying to figure out some people's fates. Like we have this unknown topman shot with a by. Well, we know they were shot, but we don't know who shot them. And let's see. Uh, what were we trying last time? We were trying to get more fates, of course. Because there is still a good section of the ship that we can't access. We can't access the cargo deck. Uh, watch me find it open now. No, it is still closed. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Is there anywhere else that we can get into where there might be someone... We have the armory here, and surprisingly nobody has died in here. Then we have the carpenter shop. It also houses nobody. And Wait. I just thought it was something weird. Beyond the fact that everything is black and white. No, uh, uh, maybe, maybe the carpenter. Wait, it has a yeah. door? Can you go back to it? Okay. Let's open the door. And uh, why is there no back door? Uh, because this is already open to everything else. And why even have a door? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, let's see. It's been a bit since we've taken a look at this memory with the cow. So let's see if we can find any info here. So we've got the butcher. And we've got, let's see, you. Uh, pretty sure we identified you. No, we have not identified. We have you identified as a steward, but nothing else. And it's the only place that you've shown up so far. It's actually... Hmm... Midshipman, he has the scarf. Okay, they have pretty much the same outfit, these two. So I think they are both stewards. Hmm. We have the second mate, Edward uh, Nichols. Uh, we have not found his death moment yet. We have the bosun, who was torn apart by a beast. We're supposed to be able to rec uh, identify this person somehow. And him, he has noticeably shorter shoes here. And actually, there were... I believe that with the hammocks, there was one person who had rather short shoes, or different shoes, so maybe that's them. But we don't have a death for them either. Mm, uh, let's see. You are that other steward who got exploded. Yeah. The midshipmen, so basically all three of these together, along with yeah, the butcher. Is there a butcher's mate on board? Uh, let's see, crew. Good question. Bosun, surgeon, carpenter, cook. No, no butcher's mate. Okay. We do need to identify the cook still. Yeah, it's... also, it's kind of weirdly coincidental. Before we start the stream, a friend of me sent me a gift of a uh, grazing uh, Highland cow. <laughs> okay, and immediately we dive into the death of the cow. Yeah. And let's see. And I don't think they know they're streaming this. 
Let's see. We have you. We have you identified as likely William Wesson. And you as an unknown as of yet unknown seaman. We know that one of the sea we know someone has a tattoo. Someone's had a specific pipe. And someone had a specifically curved blade. Hmm. Yeah, I, I'm unsure if it's a Dao or something more Middle Eastern. Yeah. It's. Uh, yeah, we've seen this before. We've identified the surgeon and the surgeon's mate. You we've identified long ago. Or we had a very good chance that it's that stem. Uh, this is just this is just after the cow has been slaughtered. We still have these two here. Um, let's see, we can't specifically identify either of these two. And the game will complain at us if we try to. Hmm. So, actually, can we can we take a peek in here? Um, oh wait, are we? Yeah, we're in the other side. We the carpenter's place is all the way out here, out of sight, out of memory. So. Actually, um, that just gives me an idea. Oh, uh, it's not the carpenter who we might find there, but if we can see someone in there. Oh wait, they died earlier. This prince is here. Uh, let's see. We have you identified. Yes. Uh, still unsure why this why this is an X, not a number. Uh, let's see. 58. 56. Hmm. Okay, short shoes here. But also here. Let's see, 55 and 58. Do we have either of those already? Let's see. No, we have 56, but neither of those. From Sierra Leone and England. Hmm. Actually... Let's see. They don't. They don't look uh, British to me. So, are you our seaman from Sierra Leone? Or is, hmm. well, is that the place Sierra Leone? No clue. I've never heard of it. Or hmm, it's likely in the region of Indonesia somewhere. Big ass region that is, though. Um, we can identify you, supposedly. Let's see, all of these are showing as threes, or the most of these are. Unknown soul, you are confirmed. You can be identified. Okay, uh, let's see. These are all dressed the same, so I'm guessing you are a steward as well, then. Now, let's see, we have four stewards left to identify. Ship stewards from India, Philip Dahl from Sweden as the captain steward, then the second and fourth mates. Let's see, Itbang, Sia, and Chiotan. I have no idea which of those might be a female, uh, or actually, no, they're both male names since we've already gotten Miss Lim. 
So yeah, we, there's no way to identify the two Formosans at the moment. Um, let's see what stewards is what you are. There. We likely can find you with one of the mates then. We have the fourth, second, and not many others of the mates at the moment. Hmm. Let's see. Do we have a fate for you as well? No. So you are, uh, as far as we've gotten with the story, still alive, quote unquote. Hmm. We need to find when. We need to find moments when these two, three are with one of the officers to be able to identify them. Hmm. You two, I still have no idea, right? Okay, are they both wearing short shoes? You are revealing more with your shoes there. So is there anyone here with just really short shoes? For some reason, this, these are shown as more white or I don't think they're not wearing shoes at all here. Mm. I those might be more slippers. Oh, hello. These are slipper-like. 38. Mm. Do we have anyone here? Yeah, those look like slippers. So are you number 38? Let's see. Are you Huang Li, a topman from China? That may, that could make sense. Well, they do kind of look like a. Do they have many culture that had shoes like that? Yeah, and then we have two other Chinese topmen. So you are likely one as well. Uh, wait, are you Wei Li? Or... Let me check. Uh, Topman, we have four Chinese Topman. We have one identified. And yeah, we have no death for him yet. Let's see. Jie Zhong and Li Hong are still here. Oh. <laughs> Hello there, Fufi. You doing well? Hello, Fufi. Uh, let's see. They are numbers 39 and 40. 39, 59, is 39 here? 39 is here. And he has these sandals, like, uh, 40. Wait, short shoes? Oh, I've completely missed that number 41 is here as well. Uh, we, we can move through this a bit. And uh, welcome to the Oberdin. Let's see. Uh, I tried to make a cookie butter sandwich, but the cookie butter was super hard and tore the bread. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see. Who is number 41? I... Oh, we've already That's... got you. First time I hear of that combination. Let's see. Okay. We can't identify this person here, but I'm going to take a stab and say that you are number 40, Li Hong. And we don't have a death for them either. So that is still a guess. <laughs> Foofy, what do you mean, uh, okay? <laughs> it's a tragedy, apparently. Let's see. Yeah, it does sound like a tragedy. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Dude, I, think, I think we both are a bit surprised about the cookies on a sandwich. Let's see. Oh, wait, cookie powder. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, now I think I get what you mean. Wait, okay. there's cookie flavored butter? Let's see. We have a death for this person, but we don't have a way to identify them at the moment. So maybe we should try going after them. 
Um, let's see. Actually, let's see. One, two, three. We have three of our Chinese topmen here. So where is number four? Or let's see. Topman, Topman. Uh, you have a very distinctive turban. Maba, we've identified long ago. Let's see. Seaman, Seaman, Seaman. So you, you're definitely from the Indonesian region somewhere. Or the Indochina region. But how to identify you is up for grabs still. Um... Let's see, could you be... Nathan Peters talked about how his brother died. So one of these is likely his brother, but it can't be him because he was shot. Because he said that his... You know, the, their talk was that his brother died in an accident of some sort. Uh, let's see, Foofy is weird, look it up. So what's this game about? Looks like a detective game, and I have low IQ and small brain. Uh, yeah, this is basically CSI uh, 1800s aboard a ship with a magical <laughs> uh, with a magical uh, timepiece slash compass ish thing. And yeah, our goal is to basically identify all of these people, who they are and how they died, by well revisiting the moments of their death. Actually, have we identified? No, we have you here. Oh, yeah, we identified you already. Do we have your death on notes? No, we don't. Or if we do, it's not set yet. Because they are likely number 53 here. Which is, yeah, William Basim. Everyone else. Is there a way we can take a peek behind anything? Let's see. You are just completely hidden. If there is even anyone in there, it hangs hot, low enough for someone to be. Oh my um, God. 55. And we have our Russians, of whom we can identify no one, I believe. Let me... Actually... Unknown seaman. Okay, it says that we should be able to identify these three. Okay, bag and pipe. We know their numbers here. 47, 45, and 46. That's a bit hard to read. Could be mistaken for an 8. Yeah, Russia, Russia, Russia. Oh, wait. 45, 6, and 7. 5, 6, 7. Yeah, what? I confused myself by talking about an 8. We have someone with a tattoo here. And beyond that, it fades out too much for us to see. 36. Do we have 36? We have not. Okay, so there's no way to try and identify them. <laughs> okay, I guess we could guess at some of their identities. We know we know there's three of them. Do we have the death of any of you? Or actually, hold on. Um, one of them has this pipe and bag. That is one of their possessions. Do we see any of them with that in any of these? It doesn't look like. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I suppose it is. The game will tell us who we got right if we got them three right. Yeah. But only uh, once every third right we got, they will tell us which ones. Yeah, they are they are confirmed in sets of three. Let's see. Hmm. So you could be Alakurs Nikishin, Alexei Toporov, or Leonid Volkov. 
Hmm. Wait. Forty. Okay, one of them. Okay, that might narrow things down since one of them is a topman, and the other two are seamen. So that would mean that his dress would be different than the others. Let's see. We have you in that. Let's see. Pants, belts, suspenders-ish thing. And you have a striped shirt instead. So are you... Are you actually the topman? Volkov. Hmm. Wait, I just an idea. Oh. Do you remember the sword? Yeah, I don't think we've seen anyone use that yet, though. Yeah, uh, what? Where was the sword located? It wasn't here. It, we saw it in one of the other memories. Uh, let's see. Let me jump in here again. Can we get close enough? To something to peek through. One swing. Yeah, I may have an idea about the sword, yeah. but it requires me to see where. Yeah, on me, where it is. Um, Come on, oh, uh, uh, to us. has read or something. Uh, what do you say? Uh, Fufi. <laughs> Yeah, they said <laughs> they're laughing about semen. What it also could sound like. Also, a lacquer house that they're talking about, uh, that's an old word for brothel, I believe. <laughs> going to give us anything useful. Mm. So either we need to find a, a new body. Hello, there's flies there. Wait, did we completely miss someone or something? There's a body there. Uh, how do we get behind there? We can't really run. Let's see. Is there anywhere we can slip behind? Here we can. Drops. This is new. But it's, it's yeah, that, this is a new one. <laughs> And they were shot. What? Uh, you are the bosun. What in the name of all? Oh, there's someone else here. There's a bunch of people here. We can't go through with that. Um, and we can't walk around here. Uh, oh, hello. Hello. We know these two. And they're in the armory. So we have... Uh, we know one of them as the gunner. So the other must be the gunner's mate. And... Oh. Let's see. Hold on. Are you ignoring for the being attacked by a demonic spider crab? We'll see more of that in a bit because we have a new chapter. Soldiers of the Sea. Yeah, you might have wondered why there was a chapter named that already, huh? 
Wait, wait, what? Why? <laughs> you might have wondered why there was a, a chapter called that earlier. But yeah, you are unknown, yeah. but we know that you were shot accidentally with a gun by someone. Okay. Then, hello there. Fancy swords. In a hat. Yeah. Uh, let's see. They're too far away to identify with the book at the moment, except for you. You are the first mate. And then over here we have Mr. Wolf. Yep. Christian Wolf, who was shot. And you must thus be the gunner's mate. Otis Waiter, or Waiter, who was also shot by an unknown. But we have a name now. And let's see. We see someone with that sword over there. But since we can't come out of this, it's a bit hard to see. We have... Yeah, the bosun again. I did that already. Uh, let's see. These claws are a bit in the way. This is the best view that we can get. Let's see. They have that hat. So, let's take a look. Who has that hat? Let's see. It's not you. Or is that... No, it's not a turban, because they are uh, faded out still. Hmm. Okay, who... Whose hat is that? But, let's see. We know... Let's see. The curved blades was hung by hammock number 36. So, whoever oh. that is, is Omid Gul from Persia. Yeah, and... I thought it looked Middle Eastern. Hmm. Is there really no way to get closer? Okay, either way, there is another body here. So, we can go in deeper again and hopefully get a better look at Mr. Gul. Wait. What did he? What all? Okay, cookie. No, not cookie. Buffy has to go think. I'm. Okay. Uh, I hope it's not Salmonetta that you got because that can be pretty bad. I believe. Oh dear. Hopefully, it's going well for the Buffy. Okay, and I think it's easy to guess as to how this person here died. I can't identify you from the phantom. I've got you. Don't move. I'll get you down. Okay, yeah. They got spiked and just bled out. Ooh, someone is making opening the cargo bay. Someone is trying to help him off. Maybe the surgeon's mate. And hello. Okay, they killed it. But why are they throwing water onto it? What the heck is going on? Oh, wait, 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 let's take a look at creature, the creature. Something is off with it. It, it looks like at first glance like a spider crab, but... What? Why does it have long spikes? Good question. And hello, Marco. Oh, this hello, Marco! Part 6. Uh, right. Soldiers of the Sea. The butcher was spiked. Let's see. By a terrible beast. Okay, this should be a conf an accurate fate now. So, 
Any other fades that we have at the moment are either not enough or inaccurate. And there's another one dead here, right before us. Hey Marco, have you ever seen a crack that shoots arrow-sized, stake-sized quills at people? Damn, this thing just uh, cannot make it. <laughs> this thing just cannot make a single turn. And, yeah. It's this person, as well as the thing that killed a lot of people on board, probably. I... Okay, that's why they were throwing water. They lit the fuck on fire. And there's something else here. Is that its head? For, I just noticed this before the kind of sort of... This thing has a tail! Spider crabs don't have tails. Let's see. Oh, we have uh, them already spiked. Someone with a cannon. And there's more going on over here. Is that a grenade launcher? Uh, I very much doubt they'd use a grenade launcher on a ship. This is that's just a big blunderbuss. Oh right, it is a blunderbuss. Hopefully. Oh, there's someone else here crawling away. All right, have we identified you before? Okay, uh, nope. we, we, we got another follower. Yep. All, all right. Yep. Uh, late with this, but Billy the Corgi, thank you for the follow. Uh, I think they followed from uh, the Karina. Yeah, Karina. 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 I can keep mixing up their names. The, the person we raided. Uh, yeah, they they fo They followed after that happened. So yeah, thank you for the follow, <laughs> Billy the Corgi. A yeah, thank you for that. the follow, Billy. Uh, okay, my fan just turned. Okay, why is it just making a bunch of noise at the moment? Blech. And now it's not anymore. Okay, something must have come out of alignment and realigned. Okay, you are an unknown steward. Um, let's see, and you burned to death, it seems. Because there is a stabbing here, but it's for that creature. What? So you burns. Is that its head? I guess we might see. At first, we have two casualties here, or rather, fatalities. And yeah. It it's a watch, not a compass. Why did I get the idea of a compass from? So the question is, how the heck did it get inside? Okay. Two dead, two fates to possibly solve. <laughs> And yeah, just completely choked the both of them. And I think you might have an idea now of what that thing actually is. An Eldritch Horror? It, it's a rider. We have two people here, one who just got completely flipped. And someone who threw a lantern. Can we? We can slip past. Because there's more. Oh. Okay, and that's how they got in down here. And we've got the armory. Someone opening up down here. It's the gunner's mate, I believe. 
And that's the boson, I believe. Okay. James Wallace, the surgeon mate, and an unknown. And they were, let's see. Um, how would you call that? Strangled by a beast? Nope. And we've got three correct. Okay. James Wallace, strangled by a terrible beast. Emilio Farrell, spiked by a beast. And okay, we got you correct. The Russian top one, which leaves the other two Russians to be a 50-50. Okay. Uh, let's go through. We don't have an identity for you yet. It confirms them. Uh, unknown soul is in Africa. Cannot be identified at the moment. Unknown. Do we have any attempts at the moment? Because if we have any of those, we they are incorrect at the moment. So this is a good moment to go through. And see if we had any guesses. What? Hmm? <laughs> I you want to go to chat. Okay, Marco. Uh, looks like when I revive, when I try to revive my friend in COD. Yeah, everyone else is dead. Let's see. Last Linda. Wait, wait, wait. Why would you try to revive your friend in the from a body of a codfish? Okay. You. Can be identified, but for the moment you were strangled by a beast. Okay. Any guesses that we had at the moment? Let's see. Unknown Topman. Confirmed. 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 Okay. We have no guesses at the moment. So all of the people we have put names and deaths to have been confirmed so far. Okay. And who else is dead here? Oh, someone up top. Okay, we, we, this is a lot of verticality that we're, that we're getting with this one. So a lot of info that we should be able to get. And someone was very unfortunate here. Okay, who are you? And, well, we can guess how they died. You going? Yes, you are going the long way. Extra long way. Okay. Who were you? Okay, they were spiked by it. Or rather, perhaps, too late the thing on top it. Or, oh no, that's, that's an axe that they were throwing. Okay. Nice attempt, but they had a better weapon. Okay. So they were spiked by a beast. Nick is already dead, they said. Oop. Oh, must be one of these two. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to see as many, if not more, deaths than in the Dune. Oh. Dune? I mean, Dune. The, 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 the chapter Dune, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, part three. Okay. Wait, what? Unknown. Abraham Lincoln? What? <laughs> he's, he's going with the, the hats. 
Okay, you were spiked by a terrible beast. We can't identify you. Okay. And either you or the other is Nick, then. Let's have a look. Oh, no, corpse is all actual. So I'm gonna see humanoids riding them? Yep. This wisp really has something with the masts, huh? Okay. Are you Nick? Ooh, you were you you were not spiked, you were outright speared. Okay. Oh, and they came on board from both sides, and I think we can guess who the next body is. Rave Raves on crabs! Oh wait, that won't take that out of context. Oh hello, Brennan. You got fucking lucky to have survived these two things. Freaking... <laughs> Wraith, uh, freaking Nazgul on crabs. Yeah, that's kind of what I was referring to. Well, we've seen you before. Part two. Okay, it should be identifiable rather easily. According to it, spears is that one? Yeah, spears by a beast. And you are likely Nick. So do we have another Nick on board? We have a Nichols. Let's see, Dave, James, Peter Milroy. Nicholas Botteril from England, a topman. Let's see, you look like you have the uniform of a topman, or rather the mostly lack of. And, uh... Oh dear. It's a very acrobatic corpse. Yep, and still the long way. <laughs> Get down here, you. Okay. Are you one of our Chinese topmen? Monster invasion, and you're the one who gets struck by lightning. But this does um, tell us a bit, since we know that these men are now topmen, since they're well in the top. It's a bunch of people. Have done it. Is he very unlucky or very lucky in this case? Depends. He probably was dead a lot sooner than the others. And apparently the god of pizza is messaging Marco. Okay. What? Hmm. And, yeah, this was the start. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Huang Li. Okay. Then we have, let's see, uh, electrocuted. Because I don't think they're struck by lightning here. Yeah, they're struck, but not by lightning. Uh, you were electrocuted. And that is as, cert as good as certain fates, along with Nichols here. And we just need one more to get another set of three. 
And that's it for this. Okay. Uh, everyone here... Uh, come on, let me... There we go, we need to aim up to the head. Everyone here can be confirmed as a topman now. Since, like I said, they're up in the tops. You are an unknown topman. Actually, we have... You are Ye Zhang, aren't you? Yep. Yes, you are. Okay. Yep. Wang Li, actually electrocuted. Nichols Botteril, speared. And Yi Zhang, strangled. Another three done. Wait, is that how you pronounce Nicholas? Or Nichols, Nichols. With some... It's, and here, what could you were really things wrong again? <laughs> likely. Okay, you... You were drowned. There we have Maba again. And oh, Maba. you... You are a topman. And... Let's see. I very much doubt you are a seaman since you are in the tops. And you are... Unlikely to be Scottish or English, so you are likely Omad Ghul, owner of uh, the curved sword. Omid. Yeah, Omid. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah, he he probably was. He probably has more than one turban. So that's why the other one appears so dark. And hello there. Oh, they are just creeping aboard. On both sides. Then let's see. Who are you then? Hmm. I think that would be more of a shadow of the netting, but I'll just overlook that a bit. And we have a I, I lot of people down there. Oh god. I heard the term sea rapes mentioned before, but not many tales of them. But good gosh, the Kraydon scared really took. A frightening sign of sea rapes. Yeah. Uh, let's see, Marco, I'm inviting a friend to join the stream. Okay, you're welcome to, of course. And it's very much appreciated. Uh, were they... Oh, what, oh were nice. They hosting? Let's hope they're not afraid of crabs. A sail, probably. Uh, yeah, I very much doubt it would be a good idea to keep the sails up in the middle of a storm. Okay, we've gotten what we can from this memory, so let's go back through and see what else we can find. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we've identified you already. Nichols. You are Lars. You are Peters. Another unknown seaman. Another one. A Brennan. And, okay, that, that explains why the body is, like, going like this. If they were thrown by this one, uh, they would have kept momentum going and fallen further this way. No, since they were struck by lightning and just plummeted straight down, uh, yeah, they just landed where they landed. Oh, God. No. Yeah. You are unknown, but you are likely, as with the others here, one of the seamen. So you... let's see. Russia, Russia, Wales, India, Sierra Leone, England, Ireland, England. Okay. You are of darker complexion than anyone else, so... <laughs> uh, hello there, Pizza Lover 3000, and thank you for the follow. Uh, hi, how are you? Uh, doing well, I'd say. A lot better after the dentist appointment than before it, because anxiety. <laughs> yeah, and hello and welcome. <laughs> oh, okay. Dear. So that was the pizza overlord you were messaging, uh, the god of pizza who was messaging you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, welcome aboard. Uh, this is uh, yeah, this is Return of the Obra Dinn, where basically we're playing a CSI 1800s uh, East India Company, 
where we need to identify the fates of all 60 people who were aboard this ship. And, well, let's just say that not a lot of them made it out alive. Like we have like four confirmed alive. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to keep you as just seamen at the moment, but you might be Humandu Diom. And I'm not going to make presumptions with that just yet. And uh, yeah, as you can see, this voyage had a lot of shit happen. Yeah. It's... This is not the first time we see something freak attack the ship. But I'm surprised there were more things attacking. I was kind of hoping more things would happen with this. Uh... With monsters and all that, just these were not the ones I expected. How can I happen with that? I'm terrified. Yeah, because after this, they got attacked by a bloody kraken. And yeah, this person was speared. Then we have an unknown here. Hmm, they are close to the bosun, but they are right next to another seaman. So. You could be our Slavio Leonian, maybe. Wait. I think I know he on, how he dies. Hey. Nathan, he's hiding here. And look what in front of him. Yeah, I think we can guess how he died. Let's see. We didn't find his body though. Hmm. Well maybe he didn't actually. He could have survived. Over here we have Lars again. Of course, everyone hey, let's see. ran the hell down. Uh, it's from Pizza Lover. Ooh, cool. Recently watched Sherlock, Sherlock, and now I'm getting the vibe. Uh, oh, now I'm getting the vibes I love. I think you're not too far from off. I yeah, think they did go for the Sherlock Holmes feel. Uh, let's see. Maybe he's alive till the doom. Could be. And yeah, you have to play your own little Sherlock Holmes here. You are this person here? Hmm. You look rather young, I must say myself. Or he's just lucky. Uh, let's see. Any other info we can glean from here? We know that you are going to have a very, very bad time. Hmm. Let's see, we have Nick over there. And our... Oh, hello. You were, were hiding here. Okay. Can't blame you. Everyone else built downstairs. Okay. Hmm. Now, where was the previous body of this? Downstairs, I believe. Uh, yeah, these two. Yeah, let's see. Uh, pizza, you can help kill <laughs> and procure if you want. Uh, let's see. We have two dead here. We have Stuart. The midshipman. We have the first mate. We got very lucky with some spears, it seems. We have the bosun, who is not a happy at all. You are the bosun's mate. Okay, you two are nearby. Makes sense, they would travel together. The gunner, Mr. Christian Wolf. And the gunner's mate. See, I don't think there's too much we can glean from this at the moment. Oh. And you were okay. You were later shot with a gun. But oh, oh right. This is the he he hid he hid between the partition and the the hull. And yeah, instead of. He got lucky to get away, but he got shot afterwards. That's just... yeah. Uh, let's see. 
pizza lover? I would, but I'm playing a driving game and focusing. <laughs> Marco, don't drink and drive pizza. Or don't eat pizza and drive. <laughs> uh, let's see, both of them were strangled. Yeah. Wait, are you? Yeah, you were the one who... You were not the person who was speared upstairs. Uh, we well, have an unknown I here. I noticed something else odd with the riders. What then? Uh, if you go down to the other rider... Oh, uh, and there he is. Yep, double confirmed. Okay, oh, and it was, was just the lighting version. earlier that made it look black. There you are. Yeah, you are speared, but you are alive still. Being held by Nathan. And here's the other unfortunate. And nothing can that can be <clears throat> nothing that can be gleaned there. Um let's see, we still need to confirm someone with the tattoo. That was yeah. let me Where's my pen? There is my pen, or one of my pens at least. Uh, let's see, we can scratch off the blade. Okay. And let's see, pipe. Uh, tattoo is number 37. And 37 is, let's see. Timothy Buteman, a Scottish topman. Okay, so if we go back to the first part of this, if we see anyone there with a tattoo, that that's Timothy, or that's Timmy. Timmy. <laughs> ah, come on. Yeah. First mate, William. Wait, was it Timmy, one of the more likable of South Park? Yeah, because, well... Let's be honest, most of the characters in South Park are a bunch of assholes. Yeah. Okay. Not all of them, but... Worst work is definitely Cartman. Let's see. Our victim was in the partition, so likely on the other end. Uh, no, there's no door that actually enters in deeper. So let's just let that fall shut. Oop. Need to go to the other way. Um, hold, hold on, was that one on the other side always open or where are we at the moment? We are in the Orlop deck. Okay, that means that the cargo hold is now open or might have been open for a while. Oops, some spikes still here. Or actually, no, that's from the Phantom. Okay. For the mount. You were shot. Who is using the gun? Who is that? That's William over there. And so if we go to the next one, there's the gunners. Okay, this is the last we see up. This is the end point of this, I believe. Okay. So, someone with a light shirt and pants and bald was the shooter. Who accidentally got the wrong target. Okay, this is, this is where the other beast was. The surgeon makes sense. Uh, what kind of guns are these? Uh, old 19th century stuff. So, yeah, loads, then long reloads. And, uh, yeah. Uh, are we able to look up the year? Um, let's see. I think it, it, the year was set at the start, I believe. 1800, uh, 
okay, this happened in 1807, so it is in the similar time set. Let's see. 1807. Or at least that's when this book was put together. It could be 1808, 1809. And yeah, muskets. Muskets is the, the word. So. Um, let's see. Do we have... These songs. We need to go in a bit deeper. It is unfortunate that we're stuck in the partition there. Six of eight. Let's see. A midshipman who was later knifed. And yeah, they were putting them out because they were set on fire. They were burned. Yeah, but wait, hey, hold on. Let's take a look at the floor. For there's something else we do with the flu water. Yeah, there's the beast. Uh, and the that. other creature. Where's the... Where's the rider, Em? I think they're on top of it. Of... Wait. Yeah, it why? It an, an undead rider? Hmm? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. He's laying on top of it. Yep. Let's see. Not much we can glean from this here. Can we go up? Yep. No, we cannot. Okay. And this is... Yeah, where they were crawling off to. Hmm. Uh, why he moaned... I think they moaned Because he's bleeding out. out. Pain. Yeah. Okay, deeper in. Now let's see, pizza lover. Uh, they would have need to have a lot of muskets then, because you would have to shoot and throw the gun and pick another, since a monster is rushing in fast. Reloading would take a hell of a lot of time. Yeah. Okay. So we have someone here with the muskets, who is bald in light clothes. Do we have your identity? The bosun's mate, Charles Minor. Okay. So, for the moment then... Uh, let me... Let's see. You burned to death. You two were strangled. Speared. And you were shot by Charles Minor. Let's see. Where are you... Um, and then that's a different one. I completely missed them, didn't I? Uh, there, the bosun's mate. Okay, we just need your identity then. Okay. Hmm. Wait. There's something else? There's, they could be just in the defensive position. Uh, we know that one of them is dead here, one of the beasts, but there was a second one. Yeah, come it's... down the stairs. Wait, what if there ain't three, uh, two? What if there is a third one? There's still one more case here. Yeah, it was paid. One scene. Here, take a look at the page number. Yes. Not 69. that one. Cursed number. Okay. Yeah, here they are crawling away. Yeah. Oh, damn it. I can't read chat. Choose to get pixelated. Uh, let's see. Marco, just call him pizza. Uh, Charles Minor is number seven. Yeah. Nathan again. Okay. It is a bit of a wild guess, but they are the only one who, who fits the description here at the moment. With a gun. So, I think this accidental shooter was Charles Minor. Okay. Okay.
Now then. With the cargo hold open, we can go look in there. And yeah, from oh. the looks of it, they never found the body in the partition here. Since, well, the, the bones are still here. We just got surprised the sounds. It would have smelled. It sm smelled it's a lot. It stunk. <laughs> okay. What are these things? Lanterns? This opens, and hello! I think we found where I... the other beast uh, is. I did not know it was actually in here. Oh, hello. You were speared, but you got the beasts whilst you were killed. And we have someone else here. Hmm. They really wanted to get down here. And, yep, there we have Charles Minor. So you are still likely the shooter, even though you have to swap to a sword. Oops, someone else there. It's me. Okay, and once the beast was dead, I presume that its rider didn't stand much of a chance on its own. Uh, look again, Hill. Well, they have the spear, but they would be a they would be uh, a sitting duck, so to speak. I meaning, I figured you got took the beast and the rider with one shot. Possible, depending on whether he had a shotgun or a normal musket. That's a hideous monster perished simultaneously with a brave but unfortunate soul. Okay, you were speared by a beast, but we cannot identify you yet. Okay, and that is all we can find here. Oh, you... that is not a Japanese spider crab uh, pizza. This thing. Please, uh, along the coast of Africa. And once again, we find Maba. Okay. Not much we can glean from here. Now, where, where's the door to get out? Over here. Okay. Well, that was a lucky find. And I believe... Is that... Yep, that's all of Soldiers of the Sea. Where... Yeah, just a bunch of people died. Let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine deaths in this uh, incident, quote unquote. They I guess they stored the body for rations? <laughs> or proof? Could also be. Uh, nothing here. Nothing of interest, at least. Let's see. Supplies. Oop. Uh, hello. Okay. Stow away. Uh, yeah, looks like they were having crap luck before they even left the port. Let's see, Lars. One of our topmen. Formosans are here already. Hello. Um, hmm. Okay, not sure how much information we can glean from this one. But that is another new chapter. The very first one, Loose Cargo. One of 
them to fight stowaway, expecting free passage and eventual freedom, was instead crushed inside a falling barrel. Uh, but there is well, in a more. way, they, uh, I would say, in a way, they were lucky for at least they got to avoid the horrors later. Yeah. And let's see, Marco. Uh, that is that is not quite a beast. That's a Japanese spider crab. And no, uh, it looks like a beast though. Still doesn't meet the amount of deaths in the Doom. Yeah. Yeah. And oh. also, oh. thank you, Pizza Lover, for the follow. Uh, didn't I say that already? And I think we can guess who this might oh. be then, from what we've heard before. I might. Uh, I might miss that. It... <laughs> Is there a ray gone? Uh, yeah, if if we did forget to thank you, just just thank you again then. Yeah, for, I, I don't remember get, us getting the pop-up about it. Let's see. Okay. Rip. Okay, we know that someone's brother died in collapsing cargo. And the way he's like this, it makes it look like his arm is stuck between the boards or whatever the... Actually, no, that's cloth. Okay. Still be pretty heavy. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Ropes gave out. Yeah, he said, wait, no. Is that Maba up top there? Don't think so. Okay, there's the stewards. There's Lars. He keeps dropping up. You again? Uh. Um, yeah, that looks quite painful indeed. Also, let's see. Oh. Um, Nobody asked a question, let's... Uh, da, da, da. No one asked my question of, does beer count as a late birthday present? <laughs> if you put a ribbon on it, I guess. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think you used the term wrong in this case. <laughs> Just put a ribbon around the bottle. Okay, you were crushed by cargo. And you are the brother of Nathan Peters, so let's see. Another Peters on board. Um, yeah, Samuel Peters, number 60. Okay, you are as good as insured then. That means that we have two correct fates at the moment, I think. And let's see, you, yeah, you died to sickness, you also died to sickness, we were helping with the crates, we have the promotion again, Hawk Sang, and you are one of the gunners here, you are one of the Russians. Hmm. And here, we have an unknown. Okay. And that is all we can glean from here. Okay. It is too dead here. Before it even left <laughs> England. Yeah, let's see, Marco, Birthday. I got a six pack of beer as a birthday present. <laughs> Looks like the hell with England just not very far. Yeah, the cargo is still being loaded down. It's, it's typically done with cranes and such. Okay. Okay. Yes. Speaking of beer, <laughs> I think we found the reserves. Um, let's see. Oh, I see flies. 
Okay, something died here. Anything else? That's a fruit. Wait, where's the rest? A, a good question, yeah. And we have a locked off area. Did, did it already have problems? Yes! Keep pressure here. Hold him down. Yeah. What madness is this? Twenty years, my steward, had never a doubt on your sanity. Explain yourself. Those ungodly beasts carry a curse. Throw them back or doom us all. Tie him up and put him in the lazarette with those things. He may yet find his senses. Come on. All's fine, John. Been in worse <laughs> spots, I think. Where's the rest of his leg? Uh... Alright, I should probably make some way I just laughed. I just heard Swedish! Okay, that means that one of these here is Swedish. And, uh... Yeah, I... I guess we know where the rest of his leg is, back at the other end. Yeah, I don't know if you got to see what it was going to do, but... Erador means you fools! <laughs> it said that on there as well, yeah. Yes. Okay, this is one of these people here is the stewards, and I think we can take a good guess at who that is. Yeah, but wait, wait, where, where, where are we in this chapter? On the map? Are we still near England? Oh, hello. I believe this is a new chapter. Unholy captives. Well, I guess we know what happened to the things that were riding them, or at least one of them. They, oh, they said the things. Canary. Near the Canary Islands. Okay. You were killed with a sword by the captain's stewards. Let's see, uh, where's the stewards? Here. Philip Dahl from Sweden. Oh. Um, you are unknown. Okay. So, well, we know who that... that I forgot to put on Do Not Disturb mode again. Well, that, that solves who this, the Swede is. Uh, you... Are the butcher? You are the artist. You are the gunner's mate. Yep. Once more people here. Okay. There's Martin. He has a very recognizable beard. Uh, oh, hello. We've seen that chest before. Unknown seaman, Lars, you. Unknown. Another unknown. Another seaman. But there's already someone dead here as well. Okay, uh, and everyone here. Okay, the surgeon. Surgeon's mate and another steward. Okay, and of course the captain. And you... Can we get any closer to you? No. Or can we? Yes, we can. You are uh -oh. Williams Hoskins. Uh, I really want to read chat. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da. Uh, da -da -da. Again, no one answered. That looks painful. Then I got a six pack of beer as a birthday present. That man got beheaded before they even left the port. And oh, hello, we have someone new. Uh, Purple Zarts. Hello. <laughs> hello to you too. How are you doing today? Uh, oh, let's hello. See. 
John had not, in fact, been in worse spots since they bled out, yeah. Uh, let's see, Marco, Captain, you shouldn't have showed me the reserves. <laughs> no, all the, the alcohol will disappear. I'm an alcoholic. I don't think it'll uh, be much better than water at this point, given how long away it's been. Okay. And the, the attack was actually here. And yeah, he was dragged all the way over here before he finally bled out. And they never found his foot. <laughs> okay. Or foot and some of the legs, since there was more bone. And shoe. Okay. Now, who are you and how did you die? Oh. Well, that makes it really easy to figure out how you're crushed. Oh, bloody heck. And, yeah, hello. Hmm. Okay. They were carrying, well, something with a big tail. Here we have you again. Wait. Is that a cow? Freaking Riker. Uh, I very much doubt this is a cow. Let's see, we have then some yeah, of the stupid. Yeah, what is that? One of the riflemen. Oh, someone had a fall. <laughs> he died from too much con. <laughs> Uh, he died from too much bong. Uh, oh yeah, William Basim. Okay, so if we have you correct, or if we have three correct, we should get something new now. You were crushed by cargo, I guess? Correct. Okay. Another three. Yeah. Omid Go, drowned by a terrible beast because he was thrown in the sea. William Rossim, crushed. And Samuel Peters, also crushed. Okay. I believe that is 27 now? Or is that 30? Halfway through. Okay. And yep, yet another dead. Predictor, that's 30, yeah. Uh, welcome to the stream as well. Uh, well hello, yeah. welcome. I'm Hillian, and over there we have Drakir. Hello. And we're playing Return of the Overdin. Uh, where are you going? Uh, we, need to, we need to be a certain distance, apparently, before it moves. Uh, how did you figure out which Peter's brother is which? Honestly, the first one was a guess, and well, since he talked about how his how his brother died in the cargo uh, in a cargo fall, or yeah, he didn't describe. It was told that he died. It was just well, one or the other. Yeah, it, it say he died in an accident. What's your foot in? Hey there, what's this? Give him to me and I can fry a solid meal, boys. <laughs> Have them now. Take it slow. One sec, gentlemen. There's a free shell here. Let's have a look. No, get back. Ow. Yeah, they... They basically got bitch slapped so hard their neck broke. No, 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 Hila, look death. again. Look again what's... Yeah, it's very spiky, very much alive. And it's Marco, Captain, we might reach affiliate. Uh, actually, actually, yeah, for that you have to have five people active talking. Yep. <laughs> Purple, this unfortunate soul who died from too much slap. Uh, wait, wait, there's something on his throat. 
Okay, that's, that's, a, that's a scarf. No, no, that's blood from his mouth. Yeah, that's not the. <laughs> that's not on his neck. Yep, I think it broke a bit more than that. Okay, talking about cooking up. Is this the cook? Yep. Damn, my notes paper goes flying because of the fan. Uh, let's see. You? Yeah, you are most likely Thomas Sefton. And uh, I think we'll set that as... No, I mean, hmm. Uh, they weren't eaten. They weren't spiked. They were struck by a tail. Yeah, by a beast's tail. <laughs> Rather accurate. Okay, that's one of three. And, of course, it wouldn't be the Oberdin unless there was yet another corpse upstairs this time. Okay. A bunch of people here. We'll get to see them. Oh, two. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, third is unfortunate. Mark, this, <laughs> this bitch starts from the first bitch left. That, that's a bit too harsh, Marco. And Redictor, have you, by the way, noticed that in the script under Choosing the Fate, the X shows it's uh, the victim that talked? Yeah, I did notice that. So I, I haven't looked at that in a bit. Uh, we, prop we perhaps should, because there were some people talking in non-English languages. Which it would be a very good hint as to where they'd be from. And of course, the witch goes on the scenic route. The little sparkle over there is still here. And here we go. Yeah, this is just a real ghost ship, huh? Outside of the fact that it somehow ended up here when all of the crew was dead. It's a ghost ship it double happens. over. No, that ha actually happens uh, occasionally here, Leon. What do you know about these things? About the chest and your dead friends? This is me. Very dangerous. Shell? What shell? Ew. Oh. Oh. They got speared at the same time. Someone there was translating. Uh. Yeah, these things can also spike. And hello. That doesn't look like it belongs. What the heck? the chest again. Okay, bunch of people pushing or raising the anchor. And the captain. The captain has a very distinctive voice, so he's easy to recognize. We've heard him on a few of uh, the previous ones as well. Uh, let's see. Redictor. The scenic route is a gameplay mechanic to make sure you don't miss it. <laughs> okay. Uh, purple Zant, the pocket watch is helping you get your steps in. <laughs> the pocket watch is a magical Fitbit. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's one of the Formosans. Okay. Uh, you were spiked by a beast. And you were also spiked by a beast. Okay. Again, we should be able to identify this person somehow. Let's see. Uh, you are one of the Sikh men, I believe. Uh, we have Russia, Russia, Wales, Sierra Leone. Hmm. I, I don't know where Formosa is. So it could be... They could be either Abraham Akbar. Make your own It's a Trap joke here. Or Hamadou Diam. Uh, do we have two other fates already? Uh, you know what? How about you look up where Sierra Leona is? Uh, oh, Formosa is Taiwan. Okay, Taiwan. To, so, yeah. Uh, 
Hmm, so the one who is doing the translating would most likely be Chinese then? But actually, let's have a, a... Let's wait with this. Oh, you were the translator. You are the translator. You can be someone completely different. Okay. And, oh. I think we know where the other bodies are here. Uh, let's see. First this. Oh. Uh, five dead. But, oh, we're mo are we moving into a different chapter? It'll give me a chance to read chat at least. Uh, let's see. Formosa is Taiwan. The punk was, yep. <laughs> it's the fitness gram pacer test. It's on the coast of northwestern Africa. Uh, Wait, am I getting? I'll need. I'll need to double check. I then. think that means the uh, the Leona might be a French colony near oh, yeah. uh, Africa. I, I was thinking of Formosa still for a moment. Uh, Sierra Leone. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> thank you for that Reddit. Yeah, not redditor, redictor. Okay. This thing just really wants to see each and every inch of all of these knots, huh? Oh, an effort. Uh, it, we only have half an hour left. I can leave uh, Do Not Disturb mode off. Okay. Since the chapter ended, it means we're moving into another. Shoot! I have treasure! I yield! Hold your fire! So much for holds. Okay, Boy. you were shot by, oh, hello, one of the Formosans. And, uh, yeah. That's... Is that a merfolk? That's a very spiky mermaid, yeah. Uh, let's see, Marco, I thought I was done with geography class. <laughs> and the dictator, that's a mermaid, yes. Okay, just for a bit of a clarification for the newcomers, I have finished this game before, but Vakira is new to all of this. And yet again, that funky chest. I was still really, gonna, Mark? Once we, once we're done with this game, I'm still gonna watch Oxo's video on this. Yeah. And there's a second boat here with another one. Okay. New chapter. The Calling. To see you. Is that the shell? Could be. Let's see. Edward Nichols met an unknown fate. They were shot with a gun by one of the Formosans, the one we, one of the two we have not been able to identify. And as always, there's more to find. There's there's two other mermaids here. And hello, shiny. For now, you. Let's see, you were in the water though, so... Ah, right. They pulled the bodies out and laid them down here. And since we know there were three bodies, we need to go in deeper yet still after this one. Oh. oh, wait, you're the old one. Okay, then I 
then it's very understandable why this one got shot. Not you. Where's the... Uh, was that you? Hmm. I have bad memory. And he's pulling one of the mermaids in. Well, these two are already here. And hello there. Miss Lynn. Well, I guess we know what the third body is. Who the third body is. And no sign of the Oberdin. It's going on. Okay, Marco is making dinner. And Pizza is telling them, do not mate with the dead fish woman. Bad Mark. <laughs> but I like her. There's necrophilia and bestiality. No Mark. <laughs> okay. You are the Formosan, and you had your arm melted off, it seems. So, you burned. Or if not the burn, then from bloodlust from the burn. And one more. How is this magical Fitbit going to try and get me to move this time? It's certainly a line. Now finally you learned how to make a decently sharp turn. Okay, how did Miss Lim end up limp? Oh, come on! Hello. And we don't know how she died because she bled out. And yeah, like right. Purple says, exsanguination is notably absent from the list of possible fates. Wait, hold on. I think you know how she died. Look at her. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of red, though. And hopeless. Yeah, she either got stabbed or slashed. And hello there. Okay, one of the topmen. And someone else dead here. With a spike in his neck. And yeah, let's see. Three mermaids. And one magic box. Okay. Part four. Yeah. Miss Boon Lam Yin. Unknown fate. Uh, it's e yeah, we can't say for sure since he bled out, but I'm pretty sure we're going to get a good hint with the next body. Oh, hey, you still breathing? Can you roll? <laughs> Nichols, sir, shoot them for God's sake! Shoot! <laughs> Well, I think it's pretty obviously now. Pretty obvious. Pretty obvious. Yeah. And hello. So that's where that gem came from. Or gem shell. And you. You were spears. What happened to you? Yeah, very, very angry mermaids. Have you still cowering here? Um, is that a narwhal? Uh, narwhal where? Uh, that's a paddle. Oh, bloody heck. And, uh... 
I think we know what happens to them finally. Ground. Yep. Uh, let's see. Da -da. Yeah, unknown stewards, unknown fates. Um, but we can confirm that you were, let's see. Beaten? Is slashed? No. Torn apart? Poisoned, the trying no. to bite her neck. Clawed by a terrible beast. Okay. I hope I have the correct wording there. You burned. You were shot by an unknown. Let's see. Still no idea who you are. And we have another dead one here. Though we'll have to go back to this man we took go with you then, unless you are alive during this. Uh, is that an arrow? Keep rowing! Where is it? Where? Something there! I see it! Give us a weapon! Shoot it! My kid I! Pick up the oars and row, you fools! Oh. oh. Okay, here's a harpoon! Not an yeah. arrow! Oops, someone else was grabbed. Oh, wait. Okay, that's not Maba I saw it already, but because we know how Maba died. And we now have a name for you. Bang. Uh, ah, here you are. Where are you? No, you. Okay. Was that you? I'm getting confused now. Okay. Have the stewards. Another corpse. Wasn't one of the officers here. It's one, two, and three. See, Marco, I do have both of those pizza, but it depends on how the animal and the body look like. Uh, purple, I don't think O'Hagan is still breathing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, you were speared by a beast, but are you O'Hagan? So, Mark, Captain, going to execute order. 66. No. Yeah, let's see. Uh, purple, if you know which officer is present, you can probably deduce which steward is present. Yeah, since the stewards tend to stick with their captain, not captains, their officers. Uh, let's see. Uh, O'Hagan, O'Hagan, O'Hagan. Ireland, of course. Oh, correct. That makes 33. And yeah, I, I did say that I played through this game before, but I I have forgotten most of the fates. So this is, for the most part, me relearning everything as well. Okay. We're over halfway there. And let's wait with this for a moment. Do we have an identity on you? No, we do not. But we can very likely guess that you were drowned. Yeah, that, that, yeah, you are dead already. You were speared. You are Beng. See, passenger. Uh, where's the passengers? Out uh, here. It's Beng Sia from Formosa. And then through process of elimination, we know who the, who the fourth is. And with that, we have another fate confirmed. Okay. One more. And yeah, we have a, a few disappearances here, at least. We'll reach the Canaries in three days. You packed enough stores? Aye, sir. Checked and loaded them myself. Good. 
stay quiet and alert. If the wind picks up, we've no chance against the Oberdin. Shoot ya! The one trouble! I shut it off. This is strange news. About monsters. He got really close to being stabbed, and he actually, his his hands are tied. He he cut his ropes on the tip of that spear, which got real close to him as well. Yeah, he was the first to die here. Then we have O'Hagan. Another one. And these. And at least yeah, one of these was shot, I believe, and the other one was pulled in and drowned. Yeah, the Wait, what? <laughs> purple. Did you notice that Bang was using the spear to cut his bonds? <laughs> Just as I was talking about that a bit. Don't know if you put it up or before that, I say. <laughs> before I said what? that. What a, why were those two tied up? Yeah, because they were from motion royalty. They were kidnapped. Oh. Accessible only through another corpse. Okay, you were speared by a beast. That should be one confirmed. And we have the door out. Okay, let's have a look. One of the stewards. We have an unknown. It's not O'Hagan. We have Li Hong. We have Ben. Okay, Patrick O'Hagan. You are unknown to us at the moment. We should be able to identify you, but we just don't. Okay. The second mate, Edward Nichols. So that makes you. Yep, need to aim at the face. You, the second mate's steward. Okay. Now let's head out and tally up the kills. Yeah, a bunch. And two disappearances. Okay. Both of whom could be identified. But we both know what happened to them. They were drowned by beasts. Yep. Clicked away too soon. Okay. Uh, uh, Marco, did you use your alt account again? Just don't, please. <laughs> I'm guessing you're trying to push us over the amount of uh, talking accounts during a stream needed for the push to affiliate, but uh, please just don't try to game the system or anything, because that could probably get us well, kicked off or something. If Twitch were to ever try to investigate that. Okay. Now. From the top. Well, we, we have it on video in case something did happen. Okay. Yep, the second mate. Who was shot by the last remaining Formosan. Chiorton. He was spiked, and that makes three again. Very well. Okay, it been Sia. Li Hong. And another you know, passenger. Okay. That makes 36. Alright. Wait! Don't shoot! I have treasure! We can confirm your fate as well. I yield! Hold your fire! Uh, let's see. You were shot by Tom. 
Uh, passengers there. That is one confirmed. And let's see. Purple. The rain indicates you have seen every memory. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for that, Purple. So from Nahir, we need to work with deduction to find everyone's fates, or as many as we can find. <laughs> okay. Then we jump in further through Ben. Or Bang. Okay. Here we have the second mate. Lim. A bunch of people missing. Yeah, he was the only survivor of this attack. Okay. Yeah, because he was cowering. Okay, bang, burnt. You were speared. You were also speared. Samuel Galligan. How did you die here? It's Bang. Second mate. Wait, is that... If that was the second mate's body... Wait, he's reaching towards him. But did she... Wait, let's see what he said. Does he have something in him? I can't tell. And here's one of them getting pulled into the sea. Lynn getting her throat slashed. Um, were you killed by Bang? Like, they don't hold a spear, they're holding out their hands. Wait, 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 look at his hand near the neck. Oh, 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 I see. He used the spear tip. Okay. Uh, I guess that counts as knifed or stabbed. Uh, yeah. I think I'll call that speared by Bang. There. Mm, speared, knifed. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Marco, also, Captain, how did the dentist appointment go? A lot better than I actually expected. Like, the yeah, way they said it, that's... Uh, <laughs> I've been, I'd had worse, simply put. Well, that's something. But it still replaced all his teeth with golden teeth. Not yet. Uh, <laughs> no, no case you could want silver teeth. Who are you? I, I could probably be a good pirate name. Captain Hillian Silvertooth. <laughs> Okay. Spearing. Oh, oh, hello. Hello. Pipe. We know who you are. You are. Let me see. You are Charlie number 47. You are Alexei Toporov. You were drowned, which means that we have identified two of the three Russians, which leaves only one more. Second mate again. Steward. You again? Or wait, are you the other Russian? I forget. There's 60 faces on this ship. Okay. Just to be certain. And let me scratch off the pipe hint. And yeah, they were trying to flee from the ship. Oh, Let's see. Actually, actually, the attack was happening after this. This. Hmm. Uh, if you watch Ben carefully through the sequence, you'll discover how he killed the steward. 
Yeah, he, he used the spear tip. So I guess that either counts as speared or knifed. Or stabbed. Stabbed would probably be easiest. Yeah, but that's, that's not in here. Use... What? There's no... Yeah, oh. struck, suicide, torn apart, speared, poisoned. I, I'm going to say it as... Well, that was the correct answer. <laughs> 39. Edward Nichols, shots in revenge. Samuel Gilligan, knifed. And Alexei Toporov, drowns. Okay. I get the feeling we'll be done with this game in the next stream. Yeah, yep. yeah he this used the spear tip. Yep. Okay. Well, that means we'll have to go back through everything and see what other info we can fill in. Yeah, he actually used a knife. Oh, okay, I must have missed something he was doing during the sequence then. Um... Let's see. I don't think we identified this person. Yeah, it's still an unknown topman. He was clubbed by the captain himself. And we have Brennan. And of course, you've got William. Okay. Oh, hold on a second. Let's check in again. Tattoo. Tattoo. Do you have... You do not have that tattoo. Okay. I swear, he must get obsessed by the tattoo. Yeah, it, it is solid proof of the whoever it was that died. Or okay. of the identity of the victim. Is anything in here that we can see? We have Martin. We have the first mate steward, Paul Moss. We have the, some of the passengers, Emily Jackson, Miss Bird, the gunner's mates. Up, way up, that's blocked by water. Oh, you, the helmsman, who was dragged in by the beasts. You again. Say, then we have Maba, who was torn, the bosun, the bosun's mate. Okay. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> Mark, uh, Captain, how are you walking on water? Because time is frozen during these. Okay, bosun, Martin, the bosun's mate. Okay, Volkov, Gunner's Mates, and that's about that. Okay. Hmm. I think the most useful memory we can go to at the moment is the one with the lightning strike. Because we know all of them are topmen, as I just stare into this phantom corpse's crotch. <laughs> Tattoo, tattoo. Anyone here have a tattoo? Did he almost start singing? Singing, maybe not. Rhyming, maybe. Okay. And these are too far away to see if they have a tattoo. Hmm. We have you confirmed. It's Maba. It's hard to miss his, with his death. You have been confirmed. That's Gull over there. Hmm. So everyone in this memory has been identified. Let's see. Hmm. We also need to fill in... We can probably also fill in a bunch of killer names. Killers' was names. Hmm. 
Again, you are unknown. You are one of the seamen. Wait, do they have that too? What the hell is going on? What do you know about these things? Stream timer. And your dead friends. But we have. Yeah, we already have their identity and everything. Their bosun, bosun's mate. Lars. William, Nathan, again you, who are you? I think I'm going to have to start making guesses. I saw something with his hand. Yeah, we're not looking at hands, we're looking at arms. Yeah, it was near the wrist, wasn't it? No, it, it, the forearm. Hmm. Would be a good uh, moment to see if... Was. Mm. William. Let's see, there's probably a bit with text somewhere that we could use. Mm. Let's see. Marco's having dinner. Now let's give it a little bit more. I want to see if I can put some names to things. You are Nathan Peters. You are Lars. We have identified you completely already. You were drowned. Yeah, this was the start of the doom. You... You have that book. You... Are you the purser? Or the, basically the accountant? What? Uh, I saw something before you entered here. Oh, wait. Wait, look, look at the cage. Yeah, goats. Yeah. However, in the scene before this one, there was no goat. And this is the start of one, and... The goat could have been stored downstairs. Oh, no, 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 no. There's, there's cage. Look at the cage again. Yeah, yeah empty. If, if, of course, the goat got eaten at some point, probably. No, no, no. Look at the cage again, Ina. Didn't you see what happened to the cage? Yeah. One bar broken from inside. But that doesn't oh, mean that it's, it's, uh, that doesn't have to mean that it escapes. It could have just, no, no, no. well, panicked and uh, flailed around. Oh, what I've been is, I think the squid got it. Mm, I think it would have left a bit of a bigger hole. But for now, uh, since purple is making a, uh, a hint, let's go check this here and then we'll call it off. And hello there, battle warlords. Uh, did you complete Forgotten Sense? Not yet. Keep pressure here. It's. Uh, Forgotten Sands is being put on a low fire because, honestly, if wrong foot, uh, foot outside the first mate's win. Uh, okay, well, where's the exit here? Where is the exit? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Battle Warlords, uh, <laughs> you're coming in a bit late since we're going to quit soon. But, uh, there it is. Uh, yeah, I, ha I have to say I'm not really liking Forgotten Sands. Maybe it's just because, yeah, I, I was just not in a good mood since, uh, <clears throat> since I'm, uh, yeah. I, I went to the dentist yesterday and I always get rather moody before I get to the uh, to uh, the dentist. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da. Uh, first mate outside the first... Uh, uh, foot outside the first mate's window, which is up here. It would be... Uh, where? Yeah, here. Oh, 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 wait, I remember now. The one that's hanging around. A bit literally. I, 
Kind of forgotten about this one. Okay. Ah, there we go. Tattoos. Thank you for that purple. So, you can be identified as, let's see, number 37, Timothy. Okay, you were shot by Edward Nichols. So, shot by Edward Nichols. Okay. And, yeah, what we're seeing here is the kidnapping before, well, they stole the boats, or, and, yeah, two boats, and uh, got themselves killed on open waters. Um, okay. That is assured now. Wait, did they... Did they really just kidnap them right after a freaking execution? Okay, I'm guessing they waited a little bit for people to disperse, at least. <laughs> Okay. Okay, thank you for that hint, uh, Purple. Um, yeah, I, I think we should be able to finish this through elimination and deduction and just filling in people's names next time. And yep. let's see. Uh, go ahead. Uh, the Battle of Warlord has written something. Yeah, I was <laughs> going to read that out. Uh, let's see. Did you complete Forgotten Sands? No, wrong foot. I have to say my favorite out of the trilogy is Two Thrones. I, can, I, I have to agree with that mostly, since Three, th three Thrones, Two Thrones, is basically, uh, yeah, Sands of Time and War Within refined into... Uh, maybe not the best, but still a really good mix of the two. Yeah, they put, took their... Everything that works the best on both. Let's see. But my favorite overall is Prince of Persia uh, 2008. Okay. I, I can definitely see why some people like it. I have to admit it annoyed me at certain parts to be definitely sure. But it is a really pretty game. It's just a, a shame that the ending just puts a really hard... Yeah. A really hard negative note to it all. Yeah. And the DLC even did that. Continued. But, yeah. With about 40 fates resolved out of 60, we will... Uh, we will leave it there for today. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it, this, this is still a really interesting game. So, let's just head on over here. Uh, here we go. And we can go look for someone to raid. Uh, let's see. Purple... I like the OG Prince of Persia. Yeah, definitely, definitely a good game as well. I've never played it myself, but well, it was the originator of the game, and through that we got Prince of Persia: Sands of Time, and well, that was the progenitor of a lot in the gaming sphere. Like, I'm pretty sure it was like the, if not one of the first uh, games to add in parkour into gaming, and. Well, now it's you can't almost not find a game where it's not some form of traversal. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. For now, let me change the screen share so we can go look for someone to raid. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of pe more people on now, which makes sense with the time. Uh, let's see. We have Reef the Leaf with Breath of Fire 2. They're playing that again. They've been at that for quite a while. Uh, let me unmute the browser in its entirety and just mute the tab. Uh, actually, I could do it the other way around. That way I don't have to click through multiple things just to mute just the tab. Uh, let's see. We have Nico Silverado, who is streaming Final Fantasy XIV. Okay. Schwalbe is streaming Retro. Uh, how Retro? Let's take a peek. Uh... Rough day and taking it out on Daedrana's troops. Doom 2 acted up Jagged Alliance 2 instead. <laughs> okay, Jagged Alliance. Uh, I think we tried to showcase that game once, but it just didn't want to work. And it seems that Marco Maybe? has a raid suggestion. Jeronki? Oh. Let me take a quick look for them. Let's see. Uh, J-E-R. And then... Uh, Donkey without the, the D. Let's see. They are live at the moment. 
Let's see. <laughs> oh, they're doing an alien isolation stream. Okay. Uh, shall we go jump stare and scare them with the raid? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just copy the just name. Blame the, the, the meat on you. <laughs> okay. Uh, slash raid and paste then. And yeah, before we start that off, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later in reverse order as I can read them from here. We have random we have Marco, we have Purple Zant, Battle Warlords, and let's see how far chat goes back. Pizza Lover, thank you as, yeah, as well, of course. Redictor, thank you too. And let's see, that, uh, one, two, that, that is people. <laughs> That is five people now, so uh, we'll have to see if we hit five people chatting at the same time, or if it, well, we hit five people, if if it hit it enough for Twitch, because I get the feeling it'll probably want it over multiple streams. Um, let's see, uh, da -da -da. I see the Commander Root bot, which is a good bot, since it's a bot hunter, and I see two more names in uh, chat there, uh, Sam Skio and Spofo. Uh, if you are not bots, thank you all the same as well as anyone else who has been chatty. And Fufi was here earlier. Uh, yeah, yeah, Fufi was here as well. Thank you as well for that, Fufi. And uh, yeah, as always, thank you as, of course as well, Rakir. You're always welcome, my friend. And uh, yeah, <laughs> feel free to copy over Marco's comment there as a, a raid you know, as a raid post. And uh, uh, I haven't started the raid yet, uh, there, Marco. I always start that once uh, I'm going to actually end the stream, so I don't we, so we don't have to rush our exit <laughs> our exit speech anymore. And uh, let's see then. Uh, tomorrow we will have our showcase Sunday again, number ninety three, I believe, where we will be well showcasing and trying out some games to see if they're good for streaming later. We have a bunch of games that I have not tried before ready. Oh, I always have eight ready, but typically do four. Um, we have a, a decent selection of games that look interesting or good. And of course, Saturday, not Saturday, tomorrow evening, we will be continuing with Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands, which... Uh, if you, in case you like that one, Battle Warlord, uh, I have to say... I'd rate it at the bottom of the five games, I'd say. Sorry about that. It just doesn't really fit. It doesn't really feel like a Prince of Persia to me with the change in combat and everything. <clears throat> yeah, like it has potential there, but just uh yeah, not not for me, I'd say. But for now, let's start up that raid finally before Marco grows impatient. And uh yeah. Thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day. And until then, uh, uh, but until then, uh, I, I'm messing up my own outro. Thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day. Uh, but until then, uh, yeah. <laughs> until next time, have a nice day, and yeah, see you all later then. <laughs> Be safe, everyone, and watch out for. Angry sea rates on crabs. Uh, Later. Let me copy that. <laughs>